here and g'day champions. Welcome back to this week's secret vendor reset, the greatest on the interweb. Righto champs, Cassie's opened the shop and she's restocked for the week. And all you've got to do to unlock her on your map is track down the snitch. The link to my snitch location video is in the description below. So if you have issues tracking him down, go check that one out. She's currently located in Constitution Hall, just above the Archive safe house. But before we get stuck in and see what she's got for us this week, let's have a quick look at the targeted loot for today. Seska Brandset is in East Mall. This is a great farming spot because you get four control points and a heap of other activities. Don't farm your world on normal difficulty. Set it to the hardest difficulty you can actually manage to improve your chances of those big boy rewards. DZ East has knee pads, which means you have a chance of getting those Dark Zone exclusive Murakami knee pads, the Emperor's Guards. They have that 1% armor regen roll on them, so if you want them, you're gonna have to farm the Dark Zone. Oh, and Capital Building has gear mods, so you can run that on Legendary and get some maxed out gear mods too. And over in New York, nah, not much. Backpacks in Civic, but you could just team up or roll solo and farm the summit too. Righto Cassie baby, what have you got for us this week? The Tusami shotgun, perfect pummel, I don't like it, I'm gonna pass. Gil a Nightwatcher mask with that scanner pulse haste, it's not terrible, pick it up if you want. What? Oh my god, get here now, buy this item, the shield splinterer. This is by far the best rolled one I've seen in ages. Max roll of damage to targets out of cover, yes please. But to have this gun here, you need to have killed all your DC hunters. If you haven't done that, this gun won't be here for you. And killing all your Woni hunters will give you the hunter killer chest. This one's not bad either, pick it up if you like. True Patriot backpack, I'm gonna skip it. And the negotiator's chest, it looks okay. Maybe grab it for a PVE build. Future gloves that already have repair skill on it, pretty nice. And the same goes with the future knee pads here. It's basically a healer starter pack this week. Ongoing holster with weapon and crit hit damage. Hunter's Fury mask with weapon and skill damage. The MK16 here with in sync is okay. Not big rolls, but it's still okay and usable. The MK47, not good. I recommend passing on it. Overlord Backpack, pass on that one too. And the DNH Holster isn't terrible if you want it, or you can just pick it up and stat bank that max roll of crit hit chance. The mods, there's nothing exciting. We've got a burn resistance and a hive duration. And that's it. Not a whole lot, but hopefully there's something here that's useful for someone out there. So, did you like it? Then smash that like button. And if you didn't, you can press the dislike. But remember to support me and the channel, hit that sub button and become a creepy subscriber. And I'll catch you all in the next one, champions. I'm Plum, Plum out.